Hi there. Okay, today um, we're going to make some little bowls. I'm going to just show you how to make um, just some cute, small, little, simple bowls. Okay, so we've done thumb pots, spoons. Um, I've shown you how to do glazing and decorating. And today we're going to move on to um, some really simple, uh, small little vessels. Okay, so this one I actually made ages ago and I just, it's just literally made over the top of um, a yoghurt tub. Okay, so we're going to use some household items uh, and see what we can do with these. None of this is rehearsed, by the way. I'm just doing it off the cuff. So fingers crossed it all works okay i've had to put a curtain up today it's it was so bright and sunny that i well it's not actually a curtain it's it's an apron hanging at the window but anyway i don't have any curtains in my studio let's crack on okay so first of all in order to to make a little dish like this the easiest way really or the way i'm going to show you at least is we're going to be making it out of um, a flat slab of clay or we're going to make, yeah, so we're, I'm just going to show you how to how to make a little pancake of clay first. So I've got myself a lump of clay. This is, I'm not sure how big this is going to pat out to. We'll see. Hopefully it'll be enough. And if it's too much, that doesn't really matter as well. So the easiest way, actually, and it's quite nice, and the kids will like this, and I quite like it anyway, is to start patting it flat. Okay, so using the palm of my hand, lifting it off of your non-absorbent surface, like your old bit of plywood or whatever, patting it. So I'm kind of stretching it and patting it out. And I keep lifting it. And the reason I keep lifting it up is so that it doesn't stick to the table because it will want to stick. Again, my clay is really soft, which is, you know, which is fine. So what I'm aiming for, as you can see, is a nice, even thickness can you see like a lot of pottery you will notice me going on and on about things being nice and even um, and that's important and it's kind of important because um basically if with with clay work if you have um a thick piece of clay joined on to a thin piece of clay okay um, during the drying process, this clay needs to shrink um, between 10 and 15%. So that happens as it dries. So if you've got a thick piece attached to a thin piece, the thin piece is going to shrink much faster than your thick piece. Um, and if that happens, you know, that's much more likely to crack because, of course, it being thinner, more airflow around it, um, there's just more likelihood of, of it cracking due to the shrinkage. Um, that's the main reason. Anyway, let's crack on with making our pancake. Obviously, uh, you can work on a piece of newspaper if you think it's going to stick. Um, I'm also, uh, I've also got a rolling pin. You might have a rolling pin at home, you might not. If you have, you can give it a roll. Uh, it's always good to, oh, you see it's sticking to my table. I need a bit of newspaper really, but I haven't got a piece next to me. So let's just Let's just keep going. Roll it in two different directions is a good idea. I'm trying to find a dry patch on the table. Um, and just try and keep it nice and even. So a good way to prevent it from becoming uneven is when you're rolling it with your pin, don't go right off the edge. Because if you roll your pin all the way off the edge, You'll just, it'll just go thinner and thinner and thinner into a great big thin tongue. And we don't really want that. But again, as with a lot of this stuff, if that happens, don't worry about it because you can just chop it off. <laughs> okay. But yeah, just little tips. Okay. So I'm going to try, let's try this one, shall we? Um, the, all of these um, are done in the same way. So it doesn't really matter how big it is. I'm just going to show you this one. Um, but you could be using a little, one of these little ramekin dishes, or this is just like a double cream tub. Um, but the one thing to look out for with your um, with your moulds, because essentially these are going to turn into moulds, is if you look at the base of this one, can you see it's got a, a, a sort of lip 
I would avoid ones with a lip because then when you press the clay on, it's going to kind of dip in and go into that and it won't be smooth on the inside. Whereas this one is, is quite smooth. Can you see? There's hardly any lip there. So these are better. And again, these big yoghurt tubs, I bought these in, um, in Lidl's. Lovely yoghurt, by the way. Can you see? It's quite nice and um, flat. Okay, so I think what we're going to do, let's just pop that on top of our slab of clay or our pancake of clay. And I'm just going to, I'm just going to do it by eye with my kitchen knife. I'm just going to cut around that by eye. And again, you know, with all of my videos, you'll, you'll get to know me a little bit better. And I don't really like things that are completely symmetrical and perfect and I don't get hung up with all of that boring stuff so hence I can do it by eye and it's good enough it's nice I quite like it to be um a little bit quirky and not like just dead flat rim you know I just life's too short anyway so you've cut out your round circle you've got your yogurt tub let's carefully lift that one up Okay, the next thing you need to do is if you try and put your clay directly onto um, the yoghurt tub, it will want to stick because, of course, this is plastic, so it's a non-absorbent surface. So what you need to do is get a bit of cling film, okay, and cover your yoghurt tub or whatever it is that you're using with a bit of cling film. You can sellotape it on if it all feels a bit sort of wobbly. And then you can get your circle of clay that you've cut out and you're just going to place that over the top. I'm just kind of measuring with my fingers, not really measuring, I'm just making sure it's not massively skew with. But again, if it is, it's easy to fix because it, you know, because the cling film's there, it can just slide around. And hey, if it is as well, then you'll just have an interesting bowl with a rim that kind of goes up on one side, which is lovely. Okay, so once you've got that right on there, you're going to use like the palms of your hands, the big bit. You don't, you want to kind of avoid poking clay with your fingertips because if you're prodding it and poking it too much, you're going to be denting it in and it's going to kind of develop a rather overhandled look, which could be really good. But if you want to avoid that, use the palms of your hand, use the flatter surfaces, okay? So I am just going to go around, working my way around my pot. Can you see what's wanting to happen? It is wanting to go up in a sort of frill because we're actually trying to get it to do something that doesn't really want to do because you're trying to make a flat thing suddenly, you know, come down at the side. So you have to kind of find a way. It's quite hard to describe how to do this. And I may not succeed. Let's see. <laughs> if I don't succeed, I'm really good at fixing things. So I'm going to show you that too. But um, you've just got to try and find a way to stop that frilling effect happening. So you're turning your pot around. Mine is really wanting to frill. I'll just show you what's happening. Can you see? I'm getting a little fold. I'm not going to worry about it. Um, I'm just going to keep going. I'm just sort of centralising it a little bit more. So I'm folding it all around, pressing it in. So it's almost like gathering the clay together and bringing it down the sides of the pot. That's what it feels like. But you just, you know, in a way, it doesn't really matter how you do it. It's just a case of trying to get it done. Okay, so I'm working my way around. It is desperately wanting to frill, and I am desperately trying to stop that from happening. Okay, it's got one little, two little frilly bits. That's okay. Right, okay. Let's just see how we're getting on here. There we go. So what you are aiming for, eventually, is for your clay to be absolutely clinging to the side of your pot so it's not baggy all right um so once you've got that so you might find that you get a few of these sort of um frill marks where it's like a fold where it's just folded over itself let's see what has happened with this 
So it's not too bad, not too bad. And then here it's gone a little bit funny. So we've got those two to sort out. Okay, so they're pretty easy to sort out. All you're gonna do is, let's have a look, blend that in with your finger. Okay, so you're just smoothing that across. Where's the other one? There we go. Smoothing that across. Oh, glasses, Jane, glasses. It's weird, I always forget to put my glasses on. Very silly. Okay, so we're just smoothing that across. Blending that in so you can't see it. Okay. Okay, that's better. All right. Nice. That's a bit better. Okay, that's good. Um, the other thing um, that you could do at this stage around the edge, because you've got something to press against, is pop a little bit of texture on the side. Let me see if I've got something just here. What have I got? Uh, uh, uh. This is so freestyly. I've never tried doing this. It is a little bit awkward. So I found my cork that we um, textured from before. And let's see if this is going to work. Oops, don't put my elbow, my clean clothes in the clay. Right, so I'm going to press that. Let's see. Oh, oh, something's happening. Something is happening. So I'm kind of, it wants to frill up a little bit. It's a bit awkward, but it's kind of doing it. They're chainsawing a tree outside and it's so noisy. I hope that you can still hear me. All right. Okay, this is actually working not too bad. Let's see how it looks. Okay, here we go. We're coming around. Oh, look at that. Right, we've got a bit of texture on. I'm just gonna take it off. It would be a wise plan at this point to let it dry for um, an hour or so, just until it firms up, okay? That would be good, but hey, we're winging it. We don't have the time. Let's take it off, okay? And see what we've got. So, at this point, or at least when it's a bit dry, see, mine's all sticky and wet and floppy, but yours will be firmer. So I'm just carefully, I just want to show you, okay, how simple and easy that was. So, there we have it. A very floppy, very wet pot. Can you see in here where there's the inside bit of those frills that happen on the outside? You can just smooth them off as well. Let's have a little, um, you can smooth those off with your finger as well and just get that nice and smooth if you want to. I'm running out of time here. Um, and then when it's when it's actually firmed up, um, what you can do if you want to adjust your rim a little bit is carefully trim it back with a knife if you don't like some of the big undulating peaks, if you like. And you can also get a damp sponge. Come on, we've got a sponge. Kitchen sponges are brilliant. Where's my kitchen sponges? Here we are. So this one's absolutely knackered, but you might have a better one at home. And you can use the abrasive side when it's drier, when it's firm, to kind of sponge back that rim. And you can use the soft side. Don't get it too wet um, to smooth it all off a bit. So there you go. A very quick bowl making technique. Um, yeah, try it. It's super simple. Try it with the different sizes. Let me know how you get on, post pictures of um, the results uh, and enjoy, enjoy your pottery and another video in a couple of days. See you for now, bye.